What's up, everybody? Um, Jets Wire here, and uh, today I'm just gonna go over um the Monday night game last night of the Jets and the New England Patriots. Uh, I think it was just a real, it was just a really, really good game by both teams. There was just a lot. There was scoring, like the Jets would score, and then the Patriots would score. Like it was just like I get, I know, understand that the Jets are zero and nine, but. Last night I, I was actually looking I was looking forward to seeing that game last night because I felt like it was going to be a really good game and, and it did it was a really 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 good game. It's it was entertaining to watch if you just watched it man it was just I loved the game and I understand that we're on nine but still man and you just see all these young guys showing up. I think the, I think the future is bright for these guys man it's just. 0-9, I, a lot of Jet fans last night were getting nervous about us winning, and I understand, I understand if you want Trevor Lawrence now, I understand, because cause this amazing, this great draft class we have, you see, like, Makai Beck, even though he got hurt last night, but he was still having a decent game last night, Denzel Mims, he continues to show up, um, unfortunately, Quinn Williams was out last night, um, but he should be good to go in two weeks against the Chargers, um, so I think uh, I think we just gotta keep on going, man. We we got seven games left. A lot of us want to go own. A lot of Jet fans want to go own sixteen. I know, cause like these receivers last night. Oh my! It, all of our receivers got involved last night. We finally had our core back, which was uh, Paraman, Crowder, and Denzel Mims, and they all had. Really decent nights. Perriman had an amazing night last night with two touchdowns on this absolutely amazing throw by Joe Flacco. Yeah, a really decent night. The only mistake he made was that pick that that was like the turning point of the game because then the Patriot they, it was twenty seven twenty. It was like a little design play. Like on the first play of the drive, we just throw a deep ball to um. We were, he was trying to go to Mims and then it was just so a little overthrown, just a little bit, but. That's what I wanted last night. We competed last night. We were playing a good defense. We competed. Like I like I know Sam Darnold was out. The shoulder was bothering him again. Quinn Williams was out. But we, we, like it's all about next year now, man. Like the, for the rest of the year, I just want to see these young guys just show up for the team. P Ryan had a decent night. Like these guys got to show up, and I like this. You see um cornerback Bryce Hall made his NFL debut last night and I and Davis oh, oh, he that was actually a BS call on the hit on Cam Newton that was I think that was that was just a clean hit I don't really understand why they call it a flag I don't really get it Ashawn Davis oh, he is he is something man this this whole like I said this whole draft class is doing really good this year, and I think this is something to look forward to next year because you can see all these guys can get better and better and better. And man, we have to keep Jameson Crowder, man. With the way the guy plays, he he plays like a pro at sometimes, man. He his insane catch last night, keeping his feet in bounds. It was like, but it was a great throw by Joe Flacco. Like we gotta keep we gotta keep guys like that, man, because. It's bad if we get rid of James and Crowder after this year because he could be he's a big impact on this team right now. And all the all of our young guys played good last night. I think Bless Austin had a really decent game. Um Brian Poole played all right. Um Yeah, uh we just gotta keep on going, man. It's just we gotta I wanna compete the rest of this year. That's all literally all I want. Hopefully, um Sam Donald will be back against the Chargers, so this week's the bye. And I don't know if we're going to have the chance to get rid of Adam Gase this week. We're just not sure yet. But we'll see. Like he, There were a lot of rumors that he was going to get fired because it's our bye now. But he's got to go. He's just got to go. That's all I'm going to say. He's just got to go. And before you even... Before you even thinking about getting a new quarterback, I'm not worried about the whole quarterback situation right now. I'm worried about the Jets hiring the coach that they can get to fix this team up. And as all you heard, Jim Harbaugh might be coming out of college to coach the NFL out of Michigan. 
So, do you think the Jets should look into him? Because I think that would be a great hire by the by the Jets. That'd be something special, man. That guy went to the Super Bowl with the 49ers with Colin Kaepernick. He played his brother in the Super Bowl, John. They fell short, but still, man, he's a, I think he's a great coach. Like, I would love the Jets to have a coach like that, man. He can easily turn this team into a really good team. If he comes in here next year, he, he can turn this team into something different. That's how good of a coach he is. But I'm just saying, that is the number one thing the Jets need this offseason. A coach. We need, we need, we might need to get some weapons, but I do love those the receivers that played last night. Like everybody got involved last night. Like that's what we need the rest of the year. Like we just need the young guys to show up. And I would like to see Crowder back with the team next year. Perriman, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. Like, I, but I rather ha I'm rather have Crowder back next year. Crowder's more, like more young. I th I think I'm much. I don't I don't know what their ages are, but I like Crowder. It's just. He'd be him and Trevor Lawrence would be something special. I'm like, like, so he's most likely gonna declare the NFL draft, but we just gotta see. Um, it just depends. Like, a lot of people for some reason are saying, "Oh, he doesn't want to go to the Jets." Well, you don't know that. I think he would love to be a New York Jet. I think he would lo love to come to the Jets and turn the whole franchise around. I think he would love to do that, and. And another reason why Adam Gase is still coaching this team is because we're trying to lose. Like, you could see last night, he gave up last night on his team. You could just tell. Like, like, that's another reason why I don't like him. All he does is quit on his team. That's all he does. It's just, that's who he is, man. It's, But don't worry, Jet fans. We're going to make the jo the, the Johnson brothers, they, they must make the right decision and fire this guy. Joe Douglas has a chance to correct the mistake that Mike McCagney made a couple years ago of even hiring this guy. Having an, even an option. Like it, I got sick when I even heard he was a rumor of being a, this the coach of the Jets. I did not want... He should have been the Jets' last option that year. But I'm actually happy the Jets didn't hire Mike McCarthy because you see what's going on with Dallas with him this year. He's not really... He's not doing anything, man. I understand that da Dak Prescott's hurt, but if you're like, example, look what Mike Tomlin did last year with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Look what he did. He had Delvin Hodges and Mason Rudolph, and look at they they were they were an eight and eight team. Ben Roethlisberger was literally out the whole year. Look what he did. So like, McCarthy, he's supposed to be a coach like that, but he's not showing he is though. He can't. He, this, the players I heard they don't really respect him. I don't really know this whole situation, but uh, and I expect Jerry Jones to fire him after one year. I really do. So yeah, um, just last night was actually then that was one of the best Jack. That was by far the best Jack game I watched all year. Literally, that was literally the the best Jack game this whole year. It was just it was just entertaining. Like there was a lot of scoring in this game. I had a feeling this game would have there was gonna be some scoring. And Joe Flacco, like I said, he had a good night. He got three touchdowns. Rashad Perriman had two touchdowns. Crowder had this amazing catch. Um, it's and the defense. I you could tell at the end of the game the defense just gave it up to them. Like again, this team they're literally t this team they're playing to lose. You have to realize that every this this team this Jets team this year they're planning to lose. Like, like you could tell they gave it the game to the page literally at the end. When they, when the Patriots picked off Joe Flacco, Jets literally gave them the game. Literally, they literally said, "Here, Patriots, win the game," and they did. And yeah, so it's gonna be. We got thir we got thirteen days off, and then we gotta go play the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. In Los Angeles, that should. Looking forward to that. I'm gonna. We're gonna see the new stadium. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah. Um. Hope you guys have a good day. Subscribe to Jetswire Official. Um. Follow our my Insta account, Jets underscore Wire. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.